Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Erit Academy. And today we have taken a key concept which is there in news and the question has been asked by UPSC in the recent exam or series which was conducted on 10th April 2022. So the question is about a global initiative popularly known as 30 by 30 target is often seen in news. Which one of the following statements best reflects the initiative? So we will discuss it later, the options and the answer we will discuss it later. But for your information, it is something related to Convention on Biodiversity, that is CBD. So first we will understand CBD and how we have reached to till 30 by 30 target and then we will find a solution, find the answer, okay? So first we will try to understand that how we the CBD came out and uh, what was the agenda and how did they start so this united nation conference on environment and development that is uncd also known as rio de janeiro earth summit or rio summit rio conference or earth summit it was a major united nation conference which was held in rio de janeiro and that was held in 1992 okay and out of this convention the earth summit three things, three conventions were the major outcomes. So major important legally binding agreements out of Rio conventions were, one was the Convention on Biological Diversity, then second was United Nations Framework on Convention on Climate Change, UNFCC, and then third was United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification. So these were the three important legally binding agreements. However, other than this also, uh, the Earth Summit resulted into volume uh, many documents. So, you know, the famous document Agenda 21. Second document was Forest Principle. Third document was Rio Declaration on Environment and Development. So, these were the outcomes. The conventions and documents were the outcome of the Earth Summit 1992. So, uh, UPC has asked this question. Uh, this Earth Summit will happen after every 20 years. So, it uh, first time it was held in 1972, then 1992. And the name Every time the name will be different. So Earth Summit will be the broad name, the, but as you can see, uh, the convention, the 1992 summit was United Nations Conference on Environment and Declaration. So the latest declaration which was there, UPSC has already asked the convention uh, name of the convention in uh, somewhere around 2016 or 2017. The question has been asked in UPSC CSE prelims. So CBD, our focus is CBD, Convention on Biological Diversity. It was the outcome of Earth Summit. Now we will discuss it in detail. So the Convention on Biological Diversity had three main goals and the three main goals were first the conservation of biological diversity, second was the sustainable use of biological diversity and the third one is fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from what? From the utilization of biological diversity. Basically, be the commercial utilization or any other utilization of genetic resources in a fair and equitable manner. Okay, so to discuss briefly about CBD, there is a fact check, fact sheet, which we will discuss. So, and it was signed, it is a legally binding treaty and it was signed in 1992 and it has been posed since 1993. India is a signatory and has legislated Biological Diversity Act 2002 as an obligation of signatory of this convention. USA is not a member, do remember this. And International Day of Biological Diversity every year is celebrated on May 22. So it is coming in the next month. Okay. And two important protocols. We can say that two supplementary agreements uh, which has been signed as a part of this CBD the famous ones are the Cartagena Protocol. It is on biosafety. So Cartagena, uh, Cartagena Protocol on biosafety. So it is very famous one. Then we have uh, Nagoya Protocol on ABS. That is access and benefit sharing. So remember, whenever these two terms are coming, then they will come as a part of CBD. And CBD, we know what is Convention on Biological Diversity. Okay, so this was the, uh, these three are the objectives and we have seen the fact sheet. Now we'll discuss it in detail about Nagoya Protocol and Cartagena Protocol. So starting with Cartagena Protocol, Cartagena Protocol is on biosafety. And when we talk about biosafety, what does it mean? It is basically an international agreement which aims to ensure 
safe handling transport and use of living modified organism so lmo is the short form so you can see uh, this lmo and which are also known as the genetically modified organisms resulting from the modern biotechnology that may have adverse effects on biological diversity taking also into account risk to human health and it was adopted in 2000 and it entered into force from 2003 next we have is uh, nagoya protocol so nagoya protocol is on abs that is access to genetic resources and fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from their utilization so remember the keyword abs access and benefit sharing okay so this protocol is a legal framework where uh, where we are talking about fair and equitable sharing this protocol was adopted in 2010 in nagoya nagoya is there in japan and it entered into force in 2014 this is also intended to help indigenous people everywhere to avoid being exploited for their traditional knowledge and expertise okay and india has also signed nagoya protocol in 2011 however it ratified it in 2012 why because this ratification by india was done at the 11th cop of cbd which was conducted in hyderabad yes so india has conducted 11th cop in 2012 of cbd which was there at hyderabad and uh, this is about nagoya protocol there is another term another keyword which whenever we talk about uh, uh, cbd we discuss is i achieve target so basically what happened in 10th cop of cbd uh, this uh, there was a convention on aichi in aichi and there the aichi targets were adopted so these are basically five strategic goals that are concerned with the biodiversity okay so uh, uh, five broad categories are there under that 12 targets are there for uh, this uh, sustainable development uh, uh, related to biodiversity and india has also developed around 12 national biodiversity targets under uh, cbd in order to implement or in order to uh, follow the 20 global ig biodiversity target so five are broad under that 20 are micro so this is Aichi, Cartagena, and Nagoya. Whenever you are listening, you should relate it with the CBD Convention, that is Convention on Biological Diversity. Now we will discuss about the present COP. Now coming to the present Convention of uh, CBD, that is COP 15. COP 15 was held in Kunming of China, Kunming city of China, and the theme is. ecological civilization building a shared future for all life on the earth so even if you don't remember everything remember ecological civilization so this is the logo of uh, kunmin uh, cop of cbd how to remember it so you can see in the logo okay before we proceed to logo there are two dates 11 to 15th october 2021 so the a virtual summit was held last year and this cop has been delayed a lot because of the pandemic Uh, uh, from 2020 and the second meet the this cop is being held in two phases the first phase has been already conducted virtually in 2021 the second meet second uh, phase of this summit or this cop is about to be held in, in uh, may april and may in kunming okay so coming to logo now so this the uh, the animal which has been highlighted in a red color it is remember this way that it is the national animal of china it is giant panda so giant panda is no longer considered as endangered species according to iucn status and after 30 years of hard work of conservation now it is being considered or the status has been revised to vulnerable so giant panda is now vulnerable but do remember we have red panda so red panda in india is uh, is has been is threatened species and it is it has been put under schedule 1 of indian wildlife protection act 1972 and it is has been given highest legal protection but the iucn status if we talk about is endangered so giant panda and red panda the uh, the iucn status is different giant panda is the national animal of china that's why it is there on the logo of cop 15 even 
to remember it in a better way where this Kunming uh, COP has happened, you see the face of this girl and you can remember the mongoloid eyes and that way also you can remember. So why this COP is important for us? Because in this COP, when it was held in virtually in 2021, COP, uh, CBD has adopted Kunming Declaration. And when we talk about Kunming Declaration, it was adopted over by 100 countries. Uh, when this first part uh, of ongoing virtual uh, 15 COP was held. Okay. And it is there, it was adopted. And out the, what was the outcome of it? So the first outcome is Kunming Biodiversity Fund. So China has pledged to inject a, a USD 233 million into a new fund to protect biodiversity uh, in developing countries. However, this fund is being criticized because already we have GEF and where the developed and developing countries have to pool money and it is being criticized also because this amount is very less keeping in mind the contribution of China in polluting and uh, biodiversity threat. So that way it is being criticized by the countries. However, we'll see what is the future of uh, this fund. Also, as part of this Kunming declaration, it has been announced that 30 by 30 target should be there for what? The 30 by 30 target is that it would, uh, the idea is to protect 30% of the earth's land and ocean uh, by 2030. So 30 by 30, 30% 30 of earth's land and ocean should be protected by 2030. So this 30 by 30 target is the outcome of Kunming declaration and Kunming declaration is another name of COP15 of CBD and CBD was the outcome of Earth Summit 1992. So can you trace the chronology? Can you trace the chain? This way you should remember so that you don't get confused in the examination. Okay. Achha, when the target is that, okay, we should protect 30% of Earth's land and ocean uh, by 2030. So how much land is protected at, is being protected as present globally? So today, just 17% of the land and approximately 10%, 8 to 10% of the oceans are protected. And scientists are saying that if we go by 30 by 30 target, it will help a lot in uh, averting the biodiversity crisis, uh, while it will also help in addressing climate change and the risk of future pandemic. Okay, so this 30 by 30 target is already being uh, supported by uh, many uh, groups, the proactive groups, for example, high ambition coalition for nature and people is there. So it is being uh, supported by that United Nation individually. However, United Nation is not party to CBD. It has its own 30 by 30 target in presidents in President Joe Biden's America, the beautiful plan. So this way, uh, now when this uh, second phase of this uh, COP will be done in May, we will see what is the final outcome and what all has been finalized by the countries, uh, the parties of CBD. Okay. Now we'll see the question. Now coming to the question, the question is saying the global initiative popularly known as 30 by 30 target is often seen in news. Which one of the following statement best reflects this initiative? So answer A, A uh, answer is A, that is at least 30% of the planet should be protected by 2030. So when this word is being highlighted, you should remember that it is something 30 by 30 target is a part of COP15 of CBD and this is the right answer at least 30% of the planet and when we are talking about planet planet means what uh, spe specifically 30 by 30 target mentions land and ocean it is not targeting about atmosphere land and ocean is the keyword which has been mentioned broadly they have mentioned planet so UPC has mentioned planet okay that's accepted so this is the question which was asked by UPC very recently on 10th April 2022. Other options um, we are not going to read. One is about organic farming. Third is about uh, renewable sources. And the last one is about uh, poverty. So they are not relevant for us. So hope you enjoyed the discussion. You, you would have got the new information. And uh, this way we should read about the convention, the depth, the interlinkage, uh, its history, the chronology. Then only it will stick to our mind. So study well. Revise well, take care and we will meet in the next video. And if you have not joined our Telegram channel, please join it for more updates. Take care. Bye-bye.